Well, the loss of income due to COVID-19 has more Bahamians relying on the Department of Social Services. The minister responsible for the entity says his ministry is making a substantial investment to be more responsive to the needs of its increased clientele. Cleopatra Murphy has the story. Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Frankie Campbell, says the agency has seen a marked increase in clients since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, many of them seeking emergency food assistance. That increased demand calls for greater efficiency from the agency that Campbell says has been beta testing a new information management system with a price tag of nearly $700,000 that Cabinet has approved funding for. We're hoping that in short order we will sign the formal contract and hopefully within another two to three weeks we will have the full use of this information management system which will allow us to track all of our clients from beginning to end which will allow us to reduce the waiting time for clients thus reducing the frustration which will allow us to make better projections because we will have accurate real-time data from this system. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, thousands of Bahamians have joined the unemployment line, an undesirable side effect of the closure of the economy to contain the spread of the virus. Taking in the unemployment payments the National Insurance Board has processed, the minister responsible for the agency, Brensel Roll, estimates some 30,000 people are unemployed. Campbell says it is that circumstance that has been driving demand. We find that the major challenge seems to be requests for food assistance, so much so that um, in an attempt and an effort to facilitate the demand while shortening the lines, we've asked our practitioners to relax to a certain extent some of the criteria because we realize if we were to go through the process as in usual, persons would be further frustrated by, by the wait. Campbell says the Department of Social Services has been managing relatively well, adding that when it came to the two-week complete lockdown of Bimini that took effect Monday night, the department made adjustments to cater to residents there. We made it possible to provide for food vouchers, food coupons for more than 600 homes. There were persons there who were uh, benefiting from the Bank of the Bahamas prepaid cards. Those persons realizing that the cards wouldn't be uploaded until the end of the month, we ensured that they too had care packages in preparation. Um, in that regard, I want to thank private sector, NGOs who also partnered with us to add to what was given to ensure that everyone would be able to ride out the lockdown in Bimini. While the minister says he could not call figures, he says based on year-to-year -year comparisons, reliance on the agency has without a doubt grown. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.